All right. Uh, next up, we have, we'll go through that one again. Um, sorry. We have Lily and Larissa versus Megan Craft and Emily Stockton. So I have Megan Craft and Emily Stockton winning that one. That is going to be like a sneaky win, I think, if they get that one. Yeah. Um, but you, y'all have Larissa and Lily winning that one. I, I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah, I actually have Megan Craft and Stockman pulling out the win for that one. Okay. All right. So we got so we got two versus one here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Is that gonna be like a barn burner going three? How do you feel about that one? I, I feel like it's gonna be close. Um just because I don't know how the sisters would react. Like if Megan and Kraft and they like take the first set, I don't know if they're going to fight back. I'm not really sure, but I, I have a feeling if they both played it like their full potential, I do think it's going to be very close. Nice. Nice. All right. We'll go to the top. Now we have uh, Betsy and Kelly. versus Gaffney and Turner. Um, we said um, Chegg and Flint are probably going to pull through on this one. Um, I mean, again, like, I think they have a lot of experience. Um, and then they've been, um, yeah, I just think that being ranked number one and just having a lot of, again, pro experience will give them the win and only that but olympics like olympics with responsible and it's just they do have that experience and and i do think that will yeah. show in this tournament yeah i don't i don't see them dropping this one um mm -hmm. this this will be straightforward i think they're going to go straightforward on both of their first round match first two round matches um so yeah um yeah betsy and kelly are going to win this one too all right Let's go right into the next same match, the next round below. We have the one seed versus Megan and Emily are the five seed. So if Megan and Emily make it through Larissa and Lily, I think they have a good shot at really taking this match. And if they do, they'll do it in three. Um, but I don't see I don't see Betsy and Kelly like dropping this unless something wild happens yeah so. i agree mm -hmm. no i definitely think that kelly um is gonna and her partner are gonna pull this out yeah so, i do think it does have the possibility of being close but um knowing these teams i do think also that um kelly and betsy are gonna pull this out yeah so that puts them straight into the semi Without having lost a match, probably not dropping a set. That's a really interesting route. I mean, that's what you expect from the one seed normally. Right. Next up, Zana and Brandy versus Cloth and Nuss. Well, we think uh, Cloth and Nuss are probably going to take this, um, assuming that they, we think that they're going to take the whole tournament. So I would say that they're going to win this match. And we did say that Brandy, like their team, they are maybe going to have some close games coming into the tournament. So I do think that um, they will might drop. They will probably drop the set. Okay. Yeah. If if they, if they lose any match, it's going to be this one. Uh, close enough. Yeah. If they have the potential to lose any match, it's going to be this one. Um, just because Brandy's such a competitor and she's just. She's just a beast. I agree. Um, yeah, that, I see. I see them making it without without trouble to the to the semi. All right, let's go to the contenders. Okay, this is all kind of backwards. <laughs> all right. Um, give me a second to figure this out. Uh, give me one second. Okay, on to the contenders bracket. 
we have the first match, Kaylee York and Megan Gebhard versus Catalina Marciniak and Megan Rice. I I think Megan Rice's team is probably, I think they're going to pull this one out um, just because I think that their game um, against Quiggle was hopefully going to be really close. So I do think that they're going to pull this one out. I think so too. I think uh, experience over over youthfulness in this one. Um, mm -hmm. And when you're coming into the main draw as probably one of your first main draws, I'm not sure if Kaylee and Megan have played a main draw before, but I mean, that's a solid team that's been in the main draw for, for quite a few yeah. years. So yeah. that's, that's going to be a match that they should, that uh, Catalina and Megan should win. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have Emily Day and Haley Harward versus Macy Jerger and Abby Van Winkle. I think that Haley is going to pull out the win on this one. I'm assuming that the game before is going to be close. So I'm kind of thinking that um, knowing and seeing how she plays, I think she's going to kind of come out with some fire and, you know, try to pull out the win. And I do think Emily Day, with her pro experience, and I think she is a great player. And with Haley, too, I with her being in the ones and having to face these really good teams and with Abby Van Winkle just starting to reach the ones in college, I do think that like Howard does have that advantage over her. Yeah, yeah I have that. Yeah, and I mean, I, I see them doing really, really well from here on out, having mm -hmm. lost that first round match. I think Emily and Haley move on from there fairly mm -hmm. well. Uh, next up, we have Mackenzie Ponnet and Chelsea Rice versus Lexi Denneberg and Delaney Lee Order. I think, I think Lexi Denenberg is, they're going to pull it out. Um, I think it all just depends on how their partnership turns out after the first round. But I honestly think that with their individual experience, they should be able to win this one. So you have Lexi and Delaney winning this over mm -hmm. India. I think, I think that's right. Um, Mackenzie has a lot of experience in the main draw. So, mm -hmm. but so does Delaney. Delaney delaney has been in the, in the main draw for a while. Um, so this will be interesting, but I, yeah, I think you're right. I think Lexi and, and Delaney win this one. You have the same? Yes, I agree. Same? Yes. Uh, next up, we have Katie Spieler and Kim Hildreth versus Katie Horton and Brooke Bauer. Hmm. I I don't know if Brooke Bauer and her team are gonna be I don't see them winning this um just because I don't know how well she's been doing in the pro circuit if she has been Brooke if Brooke has been in the pro circuit um she's just I think she's just very new and this is like her ex starting to get experience with it um so I don't I don't see them really making it through this round uh, I don't know much about the team that they're playing against but Katie and Kim are a pretty experienced team they've been on they've been in the main draw for a while they've been on tour for a while this is this is not a team that you want to face mm -hmm. after having just faced the one seed this mm -hmm. is not like this is, it's a winnable match but it's not it's not a match you're going to win until you probably have another couple of years under your belt. Right. Where you've really found that you can grind with these teams. And I think, I think Katie and Kim take this one. Yep. I agree. Same. Maybe. Yes. Similar, similar assessment. Yeah, I agree. I just think that after taking a big loss, um, against the number one seed. I feel like that just kind of just destroys the mindset because I don't think it's really going to be um, kind of back and forth. I think it's just going to be a quick two-setter. Yeah. Um, also, it's really hard for a 16 team to not go one to barbecue in a main draw. Yes. It's challenging. Because you know yeah. you're going to face the one seed right out the gate and then you know that you're going to you know, have some other challenges in the, in the, in the contenders. So who knows, but Sorry, ladies, better not go there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, we'll go right on to that next match. Katie Spieler and Kim Hildreth versus Tony Rodriguez and Savvy Simo. 
Hmm. <laughs> I mean, uh, I do think uh, Savvy and her partner, I think they'll win this set. Um, I don't, I don't know much about um, Spieler's partner partnership, like how they've been doing. I know she's has experience with the pro circuit. Um, I do think just this young experience with Sumo and her partner um, will help them in this set. Yeah, I feel like this is a match that Tony and Savvy can consistently win at the level they're playing at right now. But again, Katie and Kim have a lot of experience and they have a lot of tools that Tony and Savvy might not have mastered yet. Right. I'm, I agree with you. Um, I think Tony and Savvy take this one um, just because that they're, they're, they're on a hot streak right now. And that's, you know, I feel like they're playing well. Mm -hmm. Yep. I agree. Yeah. All right. Next up we have Lexi Denenberg and Delaney B. Warder versus Team Squiggle. Hmm. And then Sarah. It's, this one's tough. Yeah. I I'm I have to say Corinne and Sarah are gonna win. Um, even though Lexi has beaten some good teams, and so has Delaney. This is gonna be a battle and it really is just gonna come down to whether or not they have the legs to to kind of push through this match. Um, so I have Corinne and, and, and Sarah Skirmer home win in this one. I would have to agree on that. Um, although I do think very highly of Lexi and, and Delaney, I do think that, um, especially this deep into the contenders bracket and things like that, I do think that the more experienced teams will probably pull through. Um, and especially um, Quiggle and her partner, I do think that they, this is probably the point where they have the advantage yeah. over these younger teams. Sure. And it's, it's just a different type of pressure um, then in college, and uh, you're definitely facing a lot more teams that won't crack down as easily. And I think that um, Swiggle and her basically they won't give into pressure as easily as I think um, the other team will. So very true, very very true. All right, we have them moving on. Next up, we have Jessica Gaffney and Molly Turner versus M Day and Haley Harward. I I think M Day and Harvard will pull this one out. Um, yeah. And to be honest, I I think they can win it handedly. Um, I do I do think it will be a good because it is getting further into the into the tournament. But I do think mm -hmm. Haley, if they hadn't got through it in the beginning, I think that they'll figure things out later into the tournament. And if anything, it will get better. Yeah, I think that their connection with each other will um, start to show. And I honestly think that they're gonna be one of the teams making out of the contenders bracket um, and kind of like putting up a fight back in the winner's bracket. Yeah, that, that would definitely be one of my picks for making the semi. Um, but yeah, I definitely have them winning this match pretty easily, I would say. I think, it, I think it's in two. Um, yeah. Next up, we have Larissa and Lily versus Catalina Marciniak and Megan Rice. Mm -hmm. I have Larissa and Lily taking this one. That, that's who I'm <laughs> thinking. Again, just the experience that they have, I think will help them um, kind of get out of the contenders. I would say that's the next team I think would make it out of the contenders and back into the semis. I just, I think their international experience also helps because they do face these very diverse teams and especially with how long they've been doing it too. Um, I do think that they're gonna get this win. So they move on. Now we have the round, the, the loser's quarter, uh, Lily and Larissa versus M. Day and Haley Harward. Mm -hmm. I think honestly, this is gonna be a really close match. Um, it's kind of hard to tell who would win, but I, I'm not sure how that they're gonna do pairwise for the rest, I really think it just relies on how Haley and her partner play. Um, I think that'll depend on how they they play um, the next team. So yeah. and I, I'm not very sure about this one. I have M Day winning this one. Um, this is a one of the tougher matches they'll face all all mm -hmm. tournament. 
other than their first their first round match. Um, but this this is this is going to be a, a very tough match for them. But I think that they're going to win. I think they'll pull it out in three. But it'll be definitely a fun one to watch because it's just high level experience all across the board. So this will be. I think this will be a fun one for Haley too to really kind of like see that moment of like, oh my gosh, like this is a legend. Like she's awesome. Like she's going to just chop me to pieces. Like this is great. This is going to be a fun experience for her. Exactly. I, I agree. think I think Haley and M Day will pull it out. Um, yeah. Just with Haley's athleticism. And obviously, M Day's athleticism too, but um, maybe age does come into into factor with um, the sisters. But yeah. I do think Emily will. Their team will. I'm not them. certain they're sisters. Oh, they're not. Oh, sorry. I'm, yeah, I believe they I don't are. Know why I keep saying sisters. Um, um, partners. Partners, yeah. Yeah, Larissa, I believe, is a little bit older than them. Um, either way, I think yeah, I think yeah. I think they they drop this one. Um, next up, we have Corinne Quiggle and Sarah Skirmerhorn against Savvy Simo and Tony Rodriguez. Hmm. I I have I have Savvy and Tony running this one, and I think that might be a controversial opinion, but <laughs> I have them winning this one. I also have them winning this one. Um, I kind of think that they're gonna um, pull this one out. I think it might be close. Um. But yeah, I definitely think that they will be able to win this one. Yeah, I don't. I break her. <laughs> I mean, I guess I, I, I'm not really sure he would. I mean, I would have. I guess I would say Tony and their team would win. I don't. I don't really know. Um, I just think with the younger, the younger group, and I think I think they'll have a better shot. This one, I don't think this would be an easy one for them because Corinne and Sarah are a very solid team. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why they're the, the seven, the seven, I believe, the seven ranked team. Um, but yeah, mm -hmm. I, I got a feeling that this one's gonna go towards Tony and Zaddy. Yes. Is that how we feel? As a, yeah. We're, yeah. we're taking that leap. We are. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Last two matches in the contenders bracket, M Day and Haley Harwood versus Zana Muno and Brandy Wilkerson. Hmm. This one. This one's rough. This is where I think Haley's journey at, uh, ends. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a close one, but um I just I think if Brandy and uh Muna will like I don't know I think with them having experience together and knowing both of them um I think they will win over Haley and as much as I think individually both Haley and um, they are, are extremely good I do think that um this them Wilkerson and her partner playing together and having that experience will be able to allow them to win this game and yeah. No, I agree on that one. I think I think it's gonna be close, but um I think that they're gonna pull through as well. You, uh Susanna and Brandy are gonna mm -hmm. win this one. So we all agree on the same page about that one. Yes. Okay, we're all okay then yeah. <laughs> Move on to the, the crossover in the semi. Next up we have Tony Rodriguez and Savvy Simo versus Megan Kraft and Emily Stockman. I think Megan Craft and Emily Stockman are going to win. Um, I think that they're kind of coming off of a high, and I think that um, it'll help them move on and kind of just kind—I um, don't even know—just kind of take control of that game. Okay. I think both Stockman and Craft. I think they're just really good at adjusting to people, and they both have this like vast skill set that each of them have, being both good at defense and offense. So I think competing against this team, they'll be able to like adjust to whatever they bring to them, even this new volleyball and come out on top. Yeah, I'm right there with you. I think Megan Kraft is turning a corner and I, I would have to say she's the most athletic player on this court, um, just based on the fact that she's just smashing people right now on the volleyball court. She's, she's a fantastic player. So yeah, I, I have Megan Kraft and Emily Stockman winning this one. 
Um, I mean, you can't really compare Emily's experience on the world tour. Her and Kelly Kalinske were a top five ranked team for quite some time. And so, you know, that speaks volumes to her ability to get it done. And so I think they, I think they win it. So yep. that sends Susanna Muno and Brandy Wilkerson and Megan Kraft and Emily Stockman to the winner's semi. So that's, let's see, 59 is Zana. Let's try to plug this in real quick. Sixty is Megan Craft. This one will be an interesting, interesting semifinal. Semifinal number one: We have Betsy Flint and Kelly Chang versus Susanna Muno and Randy Wilkerson. I honestly think that Chang and Flint are going to win. I mean, they're. I think they're already won their games and they've had rest and they've kind of been able to mentally prepare for who they're about to play. And I think that takes a huge factor, especially um, with the weather, probably the heat. Um, so I think that they're going to move on to the finals. I think each of them also have like not only good, a good amount of pro um, experience, but they are very successful in pro experience. So I do think that definitely helps them. Yeah. I think up to this point, the, the, the most difficult team that they faced is Megan Kraft and Emily Stockman. Mm -hmm. Even though Zana and Brandy are good, I I mean, it, it's this is just kind of a, a no-brainer, I guess. Yeah. Who knows where this could go? It's late. Mm -hmm. Sunday, people play differently on Sunday. This is just one of those things. Right. Um, yeah. So I think Betsy and Kelly are definitely going to get it done. All right, on to the other semifinal. Taryn Cloth and Kristen Nuss versus Megan Kraft and Emily Stockman. This is going to be a fun match to watch. Mm -hmm. A lot of young talent. Emily is the oldest person on that court. Um, I don't know how old she is. I assume she's like 26. Um, but she yeah. also has the most experience on that court. Um, but you also have to realize that Taryn Cloth is like 6'4". She's got a heavy arm. She can jump serve. She likes to jump serve with the ADP ball. And Kristen Nuss is probably one of the best up and coming defenders around. And so that really speaks volumes to their ability to get things done. Uh, it's funny, I was watching one of the FIBB matches where they played the last tournament that they played in, that, that they won. Uh, whoever the announcer was, don't know who she was, but she was comparing Kristen Nuss to Misty May, and it was wild. <laughs> I was like, this is happening. I was like, this is crazy. I think it's an interesting comparison, but I don't think it's quite the comparison that it, it would it would merit. Misty May is just a different animal. Yes, I agree. Knowing that there are people that think that is really interesting because that's a really, really controversial opinion given that Kristen is a little bit shorter than Misty, doesn't quite jump as high, doesn't quite hit as hard, and isn't quite that like person that like Misty May is like a Tiger Woods-esque and like a Kobe Bryant mentality of like training. She's mm -hmm. dialed in. You don't, you don't drop a set for like seven years without, without being, you know, that, like the best player in the world like right oh, absolutely kind of I think she's her own different she's like Nuss is her own yeah like I don't I don't know if you can compare to anything just because I don't think I've seen anything with her height and like her ability she's kind of her own she's different yeah she's in this field she's different mm -hmm. so I, I have them winning this one I do too oh. yes I do too same I, I mean I like the fact that Megan's making a semifinal, which is really cool. Um, but oh, yeah. You have to give it to the hometown heroes. It's, mm -hmm. there's, yeah. there's no way they're not, they're not going to the final. Yeah. Their hometown. Okay. So we have a rematch from Austin. I yep. think in the quarterfinal. I think it was either the quarter or in the contenders bracket. I watched this match. And this one was interesting to see. It was really interesting to see how uh, Cloth and Nuss got Betsy and Kelly into like frustrating situations and really kind of neutralized Kelly 
and her on two game. Kristen was really, really good at reading it. And, and Taryn was also very good at putting hands in, in the right place to at least get touches or to shut it down. Um, so it was really interesting to see. And I bet like Kelly and Betsy just have a fire for this match by this point when they I agree. they're like we're not going to see them until the final because of the fact that there's really like not anybody else in their way so i'm betting this one just gets exciting and so i'm excited to see how this one goes but for me i want to root for taryn and and Kristen because i think that they are going to pull this out which would be awesome to have like okay you're on a three tournament win streak that's just cool like it's great to exactly. see but I think this is going to definitely be a battle. I don't think it's going to be. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to be a repeat of Austin. I think it's going to be a battle. It's going to be a three center. Oh, absolutely. And I and I think do think it helps that um, Kelly and her partner do have that fire under, to just come out and bring everything they have. And I do think with their skill level, they they don't take that as like being scared playing them again. I do think that it's it's going to be a whole different team that I see out there than they played the first time. So. Um, I do think that Nuss and her partner are going to win, but it's going to be way closer than it was. Yep. I also, I definitely agree with that. Um, I think this is different than, oh, they beat you last time. Like, it's my turn to beat you. I just think that they just have a lot more skill um, that I think can kind of um, give them that advantage. Um, but I do think it's probably going to be a three setter, very close each set kind of uh, kind of game. Yeah, I'm excited. That one's going to be fun. Plus, it would be yeah. really. I mean, the other side of that whole argument too would be really neat to see Betsy and Kelly get their first win. It's a new partnership. Mm -hmm. Knowing that they're, you know, Kelly really kind of went out of her way to convince Betsy to come back and try to make a run for Paris, which is awesome. Like they have that chemistry. They're like we we have a singular goal in mind something that we want to do getting that first one would be huge for them this would be that tournament to be like we win this and we're really on fire from here on out because i believe they're going to latvia right after this they're going straight from here to latvia to play oh, wow. the next week for the, the the elite 16 event um which i think they ended up the three seed so that this would be a really really big tournament for them mm -hmm. to win mm -hmm. and there's a part of me that hopes that they do win just because that would be awesome to kind of see that, like that, that was the right decision to make. Um, but yeah, I think Taryn and uh, I think Taryn and Kristen are going to win this one. And there's nothing sweeter than winning in a home crowd, like winning a big yes. in a home crowd. Like this would be awesome to be in that moment. Of, yeah. So um, yeah, that's going to be an interesting tournament. I hope that my predictions are closer this time. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> far off i got so much crap for it. it's great oh, God. Um, yeah well i appreciate y'all coming on and doing this um, thanks for having us fun. this was cool I, I really appreciate the insight that you bring with some of these athletes that's one of the big things about doing these is oftentimes we don't really know some of that intimate details about some of these new people coming up well, you know so we're not really sure we're just kind of guessing sometimes because we're like i've never heard these names before i don't know who they are they're going to get beat by the name i do know and so it's good to kind of hear these things because we can kind of start to understand and learn a little bit so i'm very grateful that y'all decided to come on and do this this is awesome thank um, you so yeah i hope that uh i hope that y'all come on again yes, yes yes this is awesome yeah um this isn't my thing, so this is certainly not my decision. But I hope Graham, I hope Graham will have you guys on on a different one, and uh, you guys can weigh in your expertise. So yes, I would love that. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, thank you for everybody watching. I uh, really appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope uh, hope you get a chance to see the the tournament this weekend.